we're going to have a blast of a time. Let's talk about the new Layer 2 from the guys at Blur. Welcome back to another video. Yeah, crypto Twitter has been going crazy about this. Blast is the new Layer 2 chain that is built on Ethereum, and everyone is depositing to it right now. Why are they doing that? We're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics as well and how it works. So, let's not waste any time. Blast is a Layer 2 Ethereum chain with native yield, and that is their kind of killer feature that they've got here. They've incentivized it and gamified it a little bit with this airdrop and leaderboard and stuff like that. It is backed by some of the biggest people around in crypto. Paradigm, Standard Crypto, and some of the big DeFi accounts. CL Dean, Spartan, Andrew Kang, Santiago. What actually is it? Well, I think the easiest way to kind of get an understanding of it is to look at this diagram. So essentially, it is a layer two chain that has native yield built into it. And the easiest way to understand this is by looking at kind of how a user deposits into the chain. Let's say if they had Ether stablecoins, they'd do so. And it'd go into this main contract. And underneath this, what will happen is that ETH gets staked with Lido. So it's earning that underlying yield, the 3-4 API. And the stablecoins get converted into DAIU, which goes into Maker with their DSR volts. So that's earning around that 5 mark with the treasury yield, essentially. Essentially, what you've got here is you've got a chain that is Ethereum and stablecoins that are kind of earning underlying yield. You could literally just leave your ETH on these chains. You could leave your stablecoins there. They will go up in value over time. Real world assets with the likes of Maker and the native ETH staking yield by Lido. And to be honest, one of the questions I had is, is this more bullish for Ethereum or is this more bullish for Maker and Lido? And I'm thinking it's the latter, really, just because of how much attention, how much deposits they're going to get. Now, one of the reasons why this is so good and is because it generates so much revenue. If we just have a look at the Arbitrum bridge, and Ty is the one that highlighted this, you can see that the Arbitrum contract is around 1.3 million ETH, which is equivalent to around $2.06 billion. If that ETH was stake, that would be 100 million in revenue every single year. It just goes to show like some small changes at the contract level or at the smart contract level, you know, in at the main blockchain level, I should say, can actually result in creating some significant revenue. So that's what they're doing. One of the reasons why this is also so hyped is because there will be an airdrop and there will be a token and there's points and leaderboards and everything's gamified. So that always helps for sure. So currently, one thing to just be aware of is it isn't actually a bridge, it is just a multi-sig contract that you just deposit to. They will have to create further contracts in the future for you to access your funds again. You're not actually able to withdraw your funds until February, at the very least. So just please bear that in mind. So what you can do is you can actually deposit ETH, Seth, USD. And USDC, the first thing that you need to do is you need to get an invite code. You can find these on Twitter. I'll try and find some and leave them in the comments, but I don't have any at the moment. So yeah, you enter your invite code. Then you can kind of deposit ETH, Seth, USDT, or USDC. And what will happen is in the background, as I just showed you, it gets converted into DAI and Seth, so it's earning that native yield. Now, you're earning yield that entire time, but like I said, you just won't be able to claim it. You won't be able to withdraw it back until February, at the very least. Now, what's really interesting is if you have a look at some of the metrics, like the number of inflows is just ridiculous. Already over 300 million TVL, I'm sure by the time you're watching, let me refresh it, 296 million TVL. I'm sure by the time you're watching, it's going to be above 300 million. And I'm sure we're going to be above 100,000 ETH bridged as well, which is absolutely ridiculous. Most of it seems to be an ETH at the moment, but still, we are having a fair bit of day I as well being bridged over in USDC, of course. So yeah, that's pretty much where we are at the moment. I mean, it's just TVL is up only. And it's pretty crazy to think that just by having being the king of airdrops and like this kind of token, these crazy tokenomics, you can kind of get a TVL bigger than most L2s around at the moment. Which is just insane. You can't even actually do anything comp blast right now. Like I said, it is just a contract. It's not even built yet, but still... They're able to just generate this amount of TVL in like two days is just unreal. Raman basically did some research and kind of did some calculations, essentially based on the current TVL, which of course is going up only. So this isn't going to be 100 accurate, but essentially, 
if let's say five of the total supply was airdropped, you know, it could be around a 40 AP on top of the base yields for Eth and Dai or Seth, I should say. And so, yeah, it could be potentially lucrative. However, I think if TVL continues to go up, then potentially, you know, your API is going to be a lot lower. However, I think 1 billion TVL, I mean, if it's got 1 billion in TVL, it's definitely going to be worth more than 1 billion TVL. So we'll have to wait and see. I personally haven't deposited any just yet. First of all, I don't have much ETH to begin with. Secondly, I just kind of want to be fairly liquid at the moment. I don't want to kind of lock up anything for like four or five months just yet. Yeah, I mean, if I were going to deposit, I'd probably just deposit a small amount just to kind of participate. But for the moment, I'm not. For the moment, but I am still looking deeper into it. I appreciate your time. Make sure to follow my account for more great crypto insights.